This morning, a holiday tradition that will not be canceled. This December, the Milwaukee Rep Theater will welcome audiences back for Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol. I love the show, and this coming Monday is your chance to nab some tickets. So here to tell us about this special 45th anniversary production is Lee E. Ernst. He is a seasoned veteran of the Milwaukee Rep, and we're so thrilled to have him here. Good morning to you, Lee. Hey, Lee. Good morning. Nice to be Thanks here. Thanks for being here. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. I mean, everybody knows uh, theater has, you know, shut down with the rest of the world. This is going to be, what, the first production at the Rep since March. Yes, yes. Uh, I think pretty much the entire uh, stage world in the U.S. shut down on, well, for us, March 11th out here in Delaware, and uh, I believe for the rest of the country as well. So it's been a, it's been a real challenge to figure out a way to get uh, a safe production back um, onto the boards, get audiences into the house safely and comfortably, and return to a cultural norm that uh, means so much to so many people, and get our actors and uh, our theater technicians working again. I like the sound of that. And Lee, I yes. want to ask you, is this accurate? The Milwaukee Rep has invested $500,000 in health and safety measures to make sure that there's a safe return for um, not just the actors, but also everybody who works there as well as the patrons? Absolutely, yes. Um, it's It's been a very comprehensive um, renovation, perhaps one might say. Um, the Actors Union, Actors Equity, uh, along with three or four other affiliated unions that uh, uh, govern over stage practices, have um, set certain standards in place, and they're very difficult to comply with. So we have to give kudos to Milwaukee Rep because they have um, they have gone above and beyond. Uh, they've been working extensively on this. So the HVAC system has been revamped. Uh, there will be distancing requirements for the audience, uh, ticketless or paperless tickets, I guess is the way you say it. Uh, audiences, when they come into the theater, will be timed. They'll have timed entrances. So that will oh. help to alleviate crowding. And um, we have a theater, the Powerhouse Theater, the Quadrachi Powerhouse, is where we will be presenting Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol. And it has a seating capacity of about uh, 730. But uh, due to current mandates and standards, we will only be accommodating uh, approximately 165 patrons, which means they can be distanced all over the place and there will be great separation between audience members who will also be required uh, to be masked and uh, hmm. it, yeah that's pretty cool i mean those are a lot of very thoughtful um precautions put in place i want to talk about the show though i, I feel like people can feel very confident in feeling safe there this is going to be a one-man adaptation right that you're going to play so it's going to look different than audiences have experienced before very much so. Uh, for the past nearly 50 years, uh, Milwaukee Rep has been producing A Christmas Carol in the Pabst Theater, which, uh, of course, has been a, a jewel box setting for what typically is very, very grand production featuring uh, dozens and dozens of, of cast and even sometimes orchestras. This year, we are moving into the powerhouse and the, um, the emphasis will be on telling the story from a different angle. Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol. Yeah, there's that beautiful set. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I can't. It excites me so much. Um, <laughs> so Jacob Marley's <laughs> Christmas Carol. Tom, Tom Mueller, the playwright, uh, who happens to be a friend of mine, someone I've worked with, uh, he's a wonderful actor and director as well as a fantastic writer, has reconceived this whole story from a different aspect. So we get to see what Jacob Marley's perspective on Scrooge's story uh, happens to be. And, mm. and it's enormously clever. It's, it's uh, beautifully written. It's incredibly moving. Uh, I have to say it's quite hard for me to 
run these lines without uh, tearing up and losing oh. it a little bit. So <clears throat> I think it's uh, it's just such an apt story to be telling, and um, and especially from this perspective at at this particular time in our collective lives. I think so too, mm. Lee. And you know what? I think Milwaukee, that we are so lucky here to have such high quality, wonderful theater of which you're a part of. Um, and, I, and I appreciate what you do so much. And was reading that you've played over a hundred roles at the Milwaukee Rep over the years, including Scrooge. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you've done a number of different things with this production, um, but you've had such a nice career in, in our city. And, and I just wonder as you reflect back and with everything changing in the world real quick it, it seems like you're really excited and very touched by by this next project i certainly am um i have been in delaware for this will be my eighth year now after uh being a company member at milwaukee repertory theater for 20 years so this is uh just a I don't know, great opportunity for me to go home and to see my friends. My my daughter, my youngest daughter still lives in Milwaukee. Aww. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I, I can't tell you how exciting it is for me. And everything is sort of, I guess we'll get to this. I, I feel like uh, we we must mention the, the big event on Monday, but, uh, I'll let you run your show. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about it right now and give details. Thank you so much for your time today. We welcome you back home. Super excited about this production. Thanks for joining and us. And we love that Packers blanket. Good yeah. to see you, Lee. Hey, I thank saw you that very too. much. I got to play Vince Lombardi <laughs> at Milwaukee Rep, so I had to give it a nod. Wonderful. Yes. Stay safe. Go Pack. Thanks again, Lee. All right, Come so see you. Thank you. Absolutely. Tickets for Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol starting starring Lee E. Ernst go on sale Monday, October 12th. He just mentioned a big event Monday. It's a special one day sale price. So just Monday, it's $25 for adults and seniors, $15 for kids using the code Dickens. You can purchase tickets at MilwaukeeRep.com or call the ticket office to 414-224. 9490. The ticket office will be open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And again, that's on Monday, October 12th only, a one-day sale.